Okay, We Bought a Zoo is based on a true story, legitimately true story, <clears throat> where you have Matt Damon, who has two kids, wife recently died, son having massive problems in school, daughter is essentially trying She's actually the most stable person in the beginning of the movie. And he decides, you know what? I need to go out and have a fresh new start. He goes out, the real estate agent, looking for places to go, finds this beautiful house, huge amount of land. Real estate agent's like, it's complicated where you're at. They walk around, oh, this house is great, I love it. It's a huge place. And then they hear a lion roar. And he goes, yeah, it's a zoo. What do you mean a zoo? It's a zoo. The house is actually on what is a relatively abandoned zoo. If you were to buy the house, you actually gain ownership of the zoo, the crew, and will be responsible for all the maintenance when it comes to all the animals, maintenance for everything when it comes to the USDA inspections. So essentially he buys a zoo. It is weird because the title of course being called We Bought the Zoo, they actually say it a couple times in the movie, and it's like, wow, it actually is made of people buying the zoo to kind of start their life all over again. You know, they do throw in the love interest for both of the, the main male characters. And, you know, he's got his relative, his brother kind of going, why'd you buy a zoo? This is expensive. You don't have the money to run a zoo. This is crazy that you're running a zoo. And he's kind of like, well, you know, he was always an adventurer, he always wrote, and now he's actually living the adventure. He's trying to see if he actually can get the zoo up to code, pass the USDA inspection, and actually open it. Knowing that in order to have the zoo be financially sound, it needs to be open during the summertime. So he's got months to get everything squared away, figured out, as well as deal with behind the animals. He's got his two kids and a whole relatively crazy staff to deal with. This movie is very, very heavy in drama. Not like, you know, what dreams may come super heavy drama, but this is a lot in the way of drama. The nice thing is the, the little girl occasionally throws in nice one-liners that throw a different amount of levity into certain situations. You know, Matt Damon and his son actually handles like a knockdown drag on argument. And he mentions, you know, you have a sister who still believes in the Easter Bunny. Shuts the door, they're both angry. She walks out. What do you mean about the Easter Bunny? And it's it's a nice little break from this really tense argument. Catch the little girl feeling like, what do you mean about the Easter Bunny? Almost in that same thing, like, he's not real? And it was just enough to kind of take it from a really tense situation to drop it just enough to be like, okay. At the end of the day, this is a widower who bought a zoo that has Scarlett Johansson working at it. So, very good movie, nice, touching movie. It was rated PG, but I'll be honest, you could very easily have kids watch this movie. Decent amount of drinking. Not like hangover style drinking, but it was weird that pretty much one Nighttime hits, they all go to a bar located on the zoo property and drink. I was surprised you didn't see if you could open the bar up. I'm, I'm pretty sure people would need to be kind of cool to drink at a zoo bar. But we bought a zoo, it's pretty much just that. It's a, a family going through a difficult time who decide to buy a zoo to kind of get a new lease on life.